여러분 입주만 해도 매년 전기세를 160만원이나 아낄 수 있는 집이 있습니다 funky architecture but it's also sustainable and energy efficient. Oh, I love my home. <laughs> I absolutely love everything about my home. So I think I was very proud to be able to um, say, you know, I'm living in an eco-friendly building. Everyone, today I'm sitting here. This is the city of Bedjed Town. 20년 된 이제 친환경 건축 단지인데 한달 살기 하러 왔으니까 여기를 살아보자 이렇게 해서 어떨지는 한번 살아보고 좀 말씀을 드려보려고 합니다. 사실 좀 살았어요. 오늘이 마지막 날 밤이에요. <웃음> 그래서 그냥 지금 말씀드릴게요. 사실 이 건축물들의 면면을 소개한 기사들이나 이런 거를 보면은 뭐 에너지 절감도 되고 돈도 덜 내고 물도 아끼고 뭐 태양광도 설치했고 그 시절에 전기차도 설치했고 난리가 나 있거든요. 궁금했어요. 그러니까 이게 정말 설명은 이런데 거의 20년 전의 기술로 그런 것들이 가능할까? 그러니까 어제 되게 새벽에 늦게 집에 돌아왔는데 올때 되게 추웠거든요. 막 일행 분들 막 팔에 닭살 돋고 막 난리도 아니었는데 오늘 날씨가 그렇답니다. 여기 문 열자마자 되게 따뜻하고 다 남향으로 창이 크게 나 있고 건축물들이 약간 이렇게 사선으로 되어 있어서 겨울에도 1층까지 햇빛이 들어올 수 있게끔 그 햇빛 길을 터놨어요. If we say that my um, traditional builds were 100%, I'd probably say that this build is probably maybe 60%. In winter, it's still warm in winter. No builds for heating. It's, it's, it's hotter here, yeah. Like, you might expect it to be really cold because there's no heating, but it's actually, I'd say it's like warmer here than my mum's house in the, in the winter. I think most of the traditional London houses, the, the housing stock is drafty, you know, it leaks, they're, they're cold, then there isn't insulation in, in the cavities. They rely on the heating, central heating, so they get very expensive for heat. Same, so it, it's cold out there and warm inside. Space and light. You come inside, you don't even feel like you're inside because of the amount of space, the high ceilings, the mezzanine bedroom. Um, um, and it's partly designed to allow for maximizing natural daylight, so you're not relying upon electric lighting for as much. You, know, you can rely on natural lighting instead. Here, I'm going to write a book and 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 I'm going to write a book. 근데 그런 게 없어요. 그냥 벽 두껍게 만들었다. 창문이 햇빛 잘 들게 만들었다. 창문을 이중창으로 만들어서 뭐 차단 효과가 좀 있게 만들었다. 이런 게 다예요. 그냥 되게 기본적인 것들. 그런 것들을 되게 충실하게 만들어 놨는데 그것만으로도 뭐 에너지 사용량이 뭐 60에서 70% 정도 절감되는 효과를 보고 있는 거죠. 확실한 거는 여기 거의 다 사람이 차 있거든요. 그러니까 여기는 사람이 살라고 만들어 놓은 곳이에요. 보여주기식 이런 게 아니고 실제로 사람이 살고 있고 사람들이 20년째 만족하면서 20년째 에너지비를 아끼면서 살고 있는 곳이라서 When I um, first found this home some 10 years ago, for me, I, I made my decision. So for me, like I said, I didn't come here for the eco benefits. I just am benefiting from those. That I know that my bills are lower. Well, I've lived here for 20 years, since the beginning, when it was first built. I like the architecture, first and foremost. I liked, but I also liked the, you know, the, the environmentally sustainable credentials, which I studied at university. But it's very, you know, I didn't really see it put into practice until I saw a development like this, so. I'm living a lifestyle um, that is eco. So that was quite a nice, thing to, to, to be able to be part of. So I think I was very proud, I was very proud to. 편안하고 자연스럽고 굳이 애써도 되지 않은, 않는 형태의 친환경. 그러니까 환경이 그냥 라이프 스타일에 녹아 들어가 있는 상태. 그렇게 되도록 디자인된 상태라는 것이 되게 매력적으로 느껴졌고. For me, it's just a general 
benefit. It just provides a better lifestyle. As simple as that. It, it living here, right, my lifestyle has, in, has been improved immensely. Whenever I have guests or visitors that come around, they're astonished at the space, right? It's always a talking point as to like, wow, what is this place? Why does it look like that? So there's, there, there's the social benefits of the environment as well. There's the status benefits in some way of the place. So for me, it's not just about the eco, it's about all the other benefits that come with it as well. I think one, one thing I wanted to say was that, you know, eco can be cool, you know, but actually it can be, it can be quite cool architecture. It can be quite uh, desirable. I think that they should have more houses like this um, in countries around the world, like in Korea too. Because if everyone, all countries benefit climate change, we can have more action on this and maybe help the world more. Because I think we're, it's very detrimental right now because were you here last week? Yeah. It was really, really hot. And I think that has to do with climate change and pollution. So I think that something should happen. Bonjour,公務員。もう韓国海炭素ベトルヤンへそこ20%에서25%정도를차지할정도로되게많은炭素がベトルヤンへの移植を目的としている部門이기도하고、特に市民들の生活で非常に重要だと考えています。韓国政